Hey guys, welcome to our video. We are Grupo. We are talking about Electro Transport Chain. So ETC. ETC has two processes, namely oxidation and reduction. Before we start, let's classify the two. Oxidation is the process of reducing electron. Reduction is the process of gaining electron. Let's start with oxidation. NADH. NADH will undergo oxidation. The reactants will be NAD plus hydrogen proton and then electron. Let's go to reduction. Two electron plus hydrogen proton plus one half oxygen. Then it will undergo reduction. The product will be water. But before the H2O goes to reduction, there's a process called transition molecules. Transition molecules has two carriers, namely C O Q and C Y P C. During the process, there's an energy release. That energy will be used in the pumping of proton, which will be used in this stage. A while ago, we talked about that the release energy is going to use the pump hydrogen proton in this stage. So we have here the diagram of mitochondria um, and we have here the parts of mitochondria. We have here the matrix where the NADH are located. Then the crystal. We have here is the outer membrane. Next. So in crystal we have protein complex. So this protein complex are produced because of high energy state which is our NADH and lower energy state which is our water. After we've after we've done this progress to high energy state to lower energy state, we will put we have produced the protein complex which is able to pump the hydrogen outside the outer membrane. This hydrogen is usually located in the matrix but because of protein complex complex they are pumped outside the outer membrane. Since the presence of hydrogen proton in outer membrane, the outer membrane will be acidic because of hydrogen proton concentration. Then the hydrogen proton, the the presence of hydrogen proton in the outer membrane will be will cause to form a a electron hydrogen proton in the outer membrane which is formed by protein complex so outer membrane will become acidic because of because the presence of hydrogen protons it will concentrate since the presence of hydrogen protons in the outer membrane it will form um, electric gradient and this electric gradient will uh, will be the cause of hydrogen proton to get back to the matrix but since hydrogen proton protons um, it's not that easy to pass into the matrix because the inner membrane is non-permeable to ions means that hydrogen proton is not easily got 
get back to the matrix. So now we will have to use the AT to synthesis. Um, a while ago, we said that the hydrogen proton will be go back to the matrix, but since the inner, inner membrane is not permeable to ions, it will be hard for hydrogen proton to pass easily in the matrix and will go under AT clean synthesis. Um, first, the ATP synthase process starts from here um, because of the hydrogen proton from the outer, mem outter membrane that causes that causes them to go. So we said that the hydrogen proton will go back to the matrix, but since the inner membrane is not permeable to ions, it will be hard for hydrogen proton to pass easily in the matrix and will undergo ATP, ATP synthase. Here in the ATP synthase, first, the hydrogen will enter the ATP synthase. Then, also in the ATP synthase, there are the phosphate group and the ATP molecules. Then, using the proton gradient, the axle will spin. After that, the ATP molecules and the phosphate group will collide and from there, 34 ATP will, will be produced. The produced product is 34 ATP. In addition to the 34 ATP is the 4 ATP from the Krebs cycle and glycolysis resulting from 38 ATP. 